Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today we're gonna open up Gwen Stacy. Now what's cool about this figure right here is she comes with an alternate head, which is for Mary Jane. Now it's kind of strange is Mary Jane we know has a certain costume she wore in the 90s one, and this is definitely Gwen Stacy's costume, but I'm probably gonna put the Mary Jane on head and probably use that more often because that is the character I most am familiar with. I wish they would have released a Mary Jane figure individually, but Oh well, looks like you got Gwen Stacy who is now going to soon be Mary Jane for me. So you can see she comes with a Daily Bugle wrapped up. She has a Midtown High School book and she has her uh, little um, paper book dashé or whatever that's supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be a purse though. It's like it's some kind of thing to hold papers. And on the back we have her bio. There she is right there. There shows her swappable head. It says, a bright student with a keen scientific mind, Gwen Stacy is the girlfriend to Peter Parker. And then it has it in other languages that I can't pronounce. All right, so you can see the figures that come in the set. We have Spider-Man, which I already got. We got uh, uh, Marvel's Electro, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, and Daredevil. So that's pretty cool. And one of the other figures, as you know, that I really like a lot is Starfire, ah, which of course was also part of the set because it had the Spider-Man thing, but I don't see her listed here, so they must not be all the figures in the set along the bottom here, just other figures in the series. All right, let's go ahead and open her up and see how she looks next to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. All right, so let's just bust her out of here. Let me grab my scissors. Huh. Kachapa, come on. Now I am still working on my uh, land shark. The new seat is printing downstairs right now. Should be done in about three hours. But of course, by the time I release this video, that seat should be done. So that'll be cool for you guys to see that. And tonight is also going to be my contest giveaway contest for the free he-man figure so make sure you guys tune in for that live event i'm hoping to have it tonight at 6 30. we'll see so i'm releasing this video at around five o'clock probably maybe before that so just a few hours of this video it's uh 6 30 pacific time so you can use that to figure out what time it is now all right let's go and grab our extra light so we can see us a little better Ugh. Left all my charge lights in the other room, so this light will have to do. It's still charged, just not as bright. So there is the head that I'm going to use. Actually, that is an amazing paint job on that head. That looks really good. There's Gwen Stacy's head, which looks familiar. I think you've seen this in other figures already. Um, actually, I, I think it's not as good as Mary Jane's head. Then we have her body and her cool little black boots, Daily Bugle, and her high school notebook. Which, of course, she's going to be Mary Jane. She's not going to have the high school notebook anymore. It's kind of funny. It kind of reminds me of uh, Clark Kent and how he dated uh, Lana in high school and then dated Lois in, uh, in um, well, when he's an adult. I was going to say college, but I don't know if Clark went to college. All right. Look at that cool head. And they actually did kind of a weird black wash on the hair. It looks interesting. I don't know if I'd say it looks great, but it does look a little different. All right, there she is. Let's go ahead and break down her articulation. So first we have ankle articulation. Looks like it bends. And then uh, her just double jointed knees. So you can see that. She has an upper thigh cut it looks like let's see if it actually works i had one figure that had that up there and it didn't turn there it just was where it was joined together yep it turns and she has a leg articulation like it's supposed to be so she can sit or sidekick now it's cool she has a slit here on this side so you can do some cool moves but none on this side so 
you can't really get the leg going up on this side. So there's any side kicks, it's got to be from this side or a whole body going up, just like that. Her wrist has articulation, it looks like. Her elbow is the kind I like where it's only single, but it goes a long distance because the way they, they built it, it goes beyond 90 degrees. So that's cool. It's like she has a magic hand, like she's going to do some kind of some kind of crazy magic thing or something. So that's kind of weird. I wish she came with extra fingers or extra hands. Not extra fingers, but extra hands. Um, it looks like her coat might be removable, but again, if you remove it, then you'll have green arms. So that kind of stinks. And it looks like she has wrist articulation there as well. And then of course, who she has double articulation here. She has an extra pin so she can look down. That way she can do her belly button gazing. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead and swap that head out. Let's see how hard it is to do. It does look like it's pretty tight on there. Oh, there we go. And now she is Mary Jane with the wrong clothes on. Ugh. But that's how she's gonna stay in my world. Ta -da. Let's go and compare her next to uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Boop, boop. She is a little shorter than Spider-Man, which I was, I'm a little surprised, but maybe, uh, I guess it's Gwen Stacy is, but I didn't think Mary Jane was, but that's, you know, because this is not actually a Mary Jane figure. It's this Gwen Stacy with a Mary Jane head. So that's kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and compare her next to other females from the He-Man set. Uh, Catra, come here. And she looks like a little teenage girl next to Catra. Whoa, my camera's off. Sorry, you guys. There you go. It's like a little teenage girl next to Catra. It's kind of kind of funny. So if she's in the He-Man world, she's going to be just short. Short, short. Let's compare her next to Black Cat and see. And she is even a little shorter than Black Cat as well. So, and... Firestar! Firestar! And she's shorter than Firestar as well. So I kind of wish they would have made a separate um, figure for Mary Jane. But again, I, I will live. It will not kill me to have a Gwen Stacy Mary Jane. Now I can have her kidnapped by Skeletor. <laughs> and then poor He-Man has to go save her. No, skinny door. Spider-Man. You'll never get Mary Jane back. <laughs> no, skinny door. Thump. Hits him with a web. Ah. Oh, Spidey, you saved me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, tune in tonight for the live figure giveaway and see if you might be the winner. How cool will that be? And then hopefully I'll reveal also the new shark, land shark. I keep calling it shark tank. The land shark, like I said, the seat is printing right now. Um, I figured out the engine. I got some handles for Skeletor to hang on to. It's coming together really nicely. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.